Beauties, welcome back to my channel. I am Jules Juliet. Thank you so much for watching. I know I've been gone for a while. Now, um, I am currently doing something to my hair. I've noticed that I shouldn't be afraid to do what I'm doing in front of you guys. So, usually when I'm doing my hair, I don't film and that usually takes like a day or two. So, I've been cutting my filming time because I've been doing my hair. This is the last time I'm going to have this pink hair. I'm currently basically just doing like a bleach wash removing whatever is left of the pink for my next color to come in because this pink is hella hard to remove now right now we're going to try out this tony moly sheet mask don't forget to follow me on my other channel at life of life with jules juliet sorry it'll be linked after this video or even on top don't forget to click on that and let's get to this video today i'm trying out the i'm real Jensen Jensen sheet mask. This is by Tony Moly and it's for the elasticity. Now, today I'm gonna have a really really long day, so I don't want my my skin to look dull or feel dull. I need it to make sure that it looks vibrant and good. And Jensen has a lot of products to making sure that your skin is awake, has a lot of benefits onto your skin. So I'm actually pretty excited to do this. Now again, I'm in a weird hair situation going on right now, so it's like I could feel my hair full but it's really not and I've actually broken up like a really big one right over here which isn't actually fun to have like it's like literally like a scarring going on so Jensen also removes some of the scarring going on so we're gonna we're gonna hope for the best and I have like a few little zits here here like I broke out a mm, a pretty good amount but anyways let's get to this sheet mask and open it up it's been actually a while that I've done sheet mask I've been using mostly mud mask and I recently tried out the Shea moisturizer clay mask and it was not the business I wasn't a big fan of it it's it wasn't my cup of tea but definitely if people do like that style give it a shot um, but again, not my cup of tea. It was really messy. I ended up trying again for like the hair mask or like body mask. It was a really big mess on my end. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I'm not. But it was not my cup of tea. So let's open this baby up and let's put this on our face. Alrighty now. Oh, I didn't even read the instructions. Ah, I'm so out of the game. This says that you are going to leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes. Then when you're done, you're going to remove it. Then you're going to just pat it on and you will be set. That's it. All right. Now, this actually feels like really thick on here. Okay, so now that it's on, this is actually a really big band. It's on my lip. It's a lot thicker than any other sheet mask that I've been that I've previously used in the past. Now I could definitely tell you something. It is tingling where I do have like acne going on. I could feel it like zapping it, which is a good thing. But I could also feel this falling because it is very, very thick. If you guys have like my style of face, this is a lot more smaller it's not as wide it's very wide on the cheek area um make sure this doesn't go in your eye though because it will sting okay so we're gonna leave this on for 30 minutes oh it's stinging here and we'll be right back let's see what happens under our skin so we're gonna remove this mask it has been about 30 minutes already oh now that felt really good just removing that from our face now, there's a lot of product left on my skin, which it doesn't say to wash off. It just says to remove the product, and there you go. So, I'm going to actually massage this in my skin and hope for the best. Hopefully, it does. Looks like my skin didn't absorb anything at all, so that is not okay. So, we're going to just massage this in. Alrighty now, so most of the product has already dried in. Um, I was massaging this onto my skin and honestly, I really didn't like the product. Unfortunately, with my skin type, it actually is making my skin itch a bit, which is so weird. Like, it's so weird, which means that my skin may have a bad reaction to this. So this is not a good thing. Definitely, if you do have acne, you might want to stay away from this product. But if you don't have acne, you should give it a shot. Hopefully it gives you electricity for your skin. And you know, Jensen is good. So 
but honestly like I am feeling like a lot of itching going around in this area as well as in this area going on so I'm not sure why um, I'm not gonna remove the mask I'm gonna leave it on but if it does continue itching, I will definitely give you guys an update down below. Now, the product is not, uh, it's it's kind of like, y'all see that? It's like a bit tacky, which isn't like, which isn't my favorite kind of mask. I don't like any like this. Yeah, it's like tacky. So I'm not a big fan of tacky masks. But I mean, it gives you a nice glowing looking skin, which isn't bad. But I will not reach out to buy this product. Unfortunately, this was actually a and it's weird because a lot of Tony Moly products I absolutely love. I use their toner, I use their serum. And it's like, why? Like, why? You were one of my top masks. But, you know, not always every mask is going to be good for you. Some skin, some masks work for me. Some masks may not work for you. And vice versa. Some masks may work for you, but they will not work for me. And my pores are, like, looking super large. So this is not a cute face. So I'll see you guys in my next video. And... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.